Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your buffet blonde, fabulously dressed. Escape reality and skip down the red carpet into a world of pure imagination where movies are timeless. The Long Island International Film Expo celebrating 20 years. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willalene. I'm here with actress Eileen Christian. You all know her best from Ryan Sop and All My Children. Not All My Children. Never on All My Children? Never, never even stepped on the stage over there. One Life to Live, Ryan's Hope. One Another Life World. to Live, that's what Nothing. it was. One Life to Live. And General Hospital. So, General and Hospital. Oh, and she's yeah, going to play my daughter is. someplace or another. Yes. She's going to be my daughter. Oh, we're here. We're, or, yeah, we're here trolling yes, we're for trolling a movie for together. Mother daughter movie <laughs> so, together. Yes. We're trolling. So tell me trolling what, is what you've word. been up to. I mean, you're here I'm tonight. The 20 you. Jimmy Bang Bang. Uh, it's lovely to see you. His name is Jimmy James Bang. I call him Jimmy Jimmy Bang Bang. Jimmy Jimmy Bang Bang. Bang. Jimmy Jimmy Bang 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 Bang. Bang, bang. Okay. Lovely to see you. Yes, and you look fabulous. fabulous. Thank you. I feel fabulous. <laughs> so now tell my audience, this is the 20th anniversary, but you've been here before. I have been here before. Yes, I've been here before and back, yes. And you're still um, rocking, right? Yes, I'm actually doing a gig July 31st at a club called Pangea. I'll give you a flyer for it. It's almost sold out, so I'm really happy. It's a little tiny club. But it should be fun. But I've been doing all these web, these strange webisodes. little web, webisodes. But some of them are on Amazon, actually. Well, that's the new Three thing now. Amazon. Amazon, Netflix, that's what everybody's up to. That's yeah. what everybody's doing. So I guess that's what I'm up that's to the, also. That's what we're doing now in the 21st century. Right, and yes, and uh, yes. <laughs> Do you have a, any particular webisode that you that you want your, my audience to know about, that you're particularly fond of, that you're proud of? Well, I'm proud of them for all different reasons. Uh, Pride is very brave and audacious. Um, the Bay is very soap opera-ish. And Tainted Dreams has a, a, lot, a lot of elements of comedy um, that are very interesting. So they're, inter they're all interesting. Still hanging out in Lido Beach and Atlantic Beach? I haven't gone to Atlantic Beach in a long time. You have to come to my house. You have to, you have, one day I'm going to call you up and say, Eileen, come to my okay. house. I live right now across where are you the street exactly? from, right on, in Lido Beach. I you are, wow. Right across the street from the ocean. You have such memories of Lido Beach. But we used to sneak in. My aunt used to sneak us in because they didn't want dogs. You wouldn't have to sneak in. You wouldn't, me, you wouldn't have to sneak in. It was like the Kremlin over there, you know. You had still to like, like that. It's you had to hide. You had to. I had to hide under a blanket with the dog. It was hysterical. Tell my audience, we love you so much. What's your next project going to be? Because we want to see you on. on well, you tell. You told me Impeach about your, Trump. Peach Trump, you don't yeah, like Peach him. Trump. You know they're giving him a hard, they're giving him a hard time. He he can't do anything he wants. They all the Congress is giving him a hard time. But they though. better give him a hard time. So I, I don't think you have to worry. Oh, too I much. hope not. But yeah. I do. I they're worry. Giving him a hard I, time. I worry that they won't let him do anything. Our liberties anything. are being stolen away from us. So, and then we have to listen to lies every day. It's a great soap opera. Yeah, it's it better. Really, and it's, it's better than it's show. better than soap opera on TV. It really. It is. really is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what's coming up for me at the moment. Maybe talk to Deborah. She'll put you in one of her films. Tell she knows audience, where I am. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out all about your gigs, all about your singing, all about all the... You're a rock a, star. I have a website. Website, website I, Facebook I page, Instagram. Tell us everything. Facebook is the best place to probably get in touch with me. Uh... Although I have a lot of Russian Russians trolling it, 
thing. They love you. I don't know. I don't know. It's a scary You're, you're time. beautiful, though. Oh, you're beautiful, thank girl. thank you, Cognac. So great to see Eileen you. Christian. Everybody loves her. I love her. Give me a kiss. I love you. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews right here at the Long Island International Film Expo. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Escape reality and skip down the red carpet into a world of pure imagination where movies are timeless. The Long Island International Film Expo celebrating 20 years. for our 20th birthday. Um, I think we have a happy birthday wish from a couple of people, John. Do we have that available? <laughs> Sorry, he was playing with my phone. <laughs> to you, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Here we screened over 168 short and feature length films music videos, trailers, and webisodes from around the world. We screen films from Poland, India, Israel, Spain, Australia, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Russia, the Russian Federation, New Zealand, Switzerland, Japan, Germany, Armenia, and all over the United States, and from right here on Long Island. And we welcome filmmakers from all over the United States, and many right here on Long Island. We have panels on screenwriting and film financing and distribution, a Screen Actors Guild panel, an Agents panel, Filmmakers Breakfast panel, Meet the Festival Directors, etc., etc. Life is a filmmaking community, and it takes a community to run life. And there's so many people to thank, so we're just going to let the scroll do it for me. <laughs> never prepare anything because I'm too busy, but I do want to take this time to thank a couple of people. Number one, John Marine, he is our tech man, he is a guy, he developed a presentation tonight, so I think he's a great kudos. I also want to thank our uh, distinguished guests who are going to also be presenters. Karen, you volunteered your craft to us on our stage, thank you very much for that. I know a number of you are going to do the same. So I do, I do thank you for coming in and honoring these filmmakers who work very hard in their films. And, you know, it's, it's a long haul. You know it's all a long haul. And so uh, we only want to do the best presentation we can do for our filmmakers. And that's what it was all about. Twenty years ago, uh, three people came up to Annie and I and said, we want to run a festival in your theater. At the time it was the Malvern Theater. And it was Marty Cohen, it was Bob Hanson, it was Debbie Markowitz. And since then, things have changed. Uh, Bob is no longer with us. Marty has gone into bigger and better things. And, uh, but we're still here. And that's through the power of so many other people that have helped. And this year, uh, Trisha Pello has helped so much. Corey Diskin, you always help so much. You set up everything. You make that, you make that uh, Fireman's Lounge look like a filmmaker's lounge. It's, it's fantastic. And, uh, Trisha's got our boots on the ground. And, that's what it was this year. She just forged ahead and did so much work. My wife basically locks herself in a room for two months and says, I'm working on the festival, you take care of it. So that's the way that goes. So, but I, I really just want to also just thank everybody for submitting their films to us and, and recognizing our end of it because it is a lot of work and it's all volunteer. And we do watch the films. We do watch your films. So enjoy the presentation. I'm going to turn you back to Teddy. And thank you. New York's Fox 5 Network for four seasons. He managed and taught some of the most successful comedians who regularly appeared on the Uptown Comedy Club stage, such as J.B. Smooth, Curb Your Enthusiasm's Flex Alexander, UPN's One on One, Tracy Morgan, and many more. He's an indie director's favorite, having appeared in Suzanne Guassi's Stuff and soon to be in Fred Carpenter's Dinosaur. Please welcome Kevin Brown. Thank you. 
Keep it going for Deborah. Keep it going for Deborah. Look at Deborah. She was already married, boy. Mm mm mm. All right. So, how are we, ladies and gentlemen? How we doing? Okay. Okay. Here's what I have to do. I have to rewind a little bit and give a special shout out to Kieran. Give it up again for Kieran. that Broadway stuff is kind of corny, but he got on stage and just made me moist. Oh my goodness, Kieran! Dude, that was incredible, man. No, 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 they're not gonna expect you. All right, cool. No, no, I have a cousin in the uh, Midtown North uh, Vice Squad, and he needs to get a big boost, so I thought if he bust this book today. <laughs> You might make sergeant by the end of the night. A lot of big wigs at that game, you said, right? All right, that's a lot of money, that's, that's press. Oh, cool, we'll get a huge promotion, that's cool for me. I'll get that PBA card one way or another. <laughs> Whew. Well, Kevin, you're doing a great job. I don't think at all that you're gonna have any trouble of him trying to take your job. As a former five to six time host of this award show, you just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> you just give up. You just go, yeah, I'm shooting something. What are you doing? <laughs> something in Prague. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everyone. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for coming here tonight. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, Pixie Fighters is such an amazing movie slash film. I mean, we work really hard on it. It's based on a true story. Um, I never thought we would win this award, but I always had hope in mind. And I was really rooting for winning this award. I would like to thank Danny Schaffman, Evan, uh, the cast and crew of Pixie Fighters. Um, it was really amazing shooting with you guys. The crafty crew, the film crew. <laughs> Anthony, the cameraman, it was just really amazing. Um, I really enjoyed shooting this film. This was my first film ever, and winning this award means everything to me. And to actually think that people liked what I did, and it's just so awesome being here today, and all of you guys, like all the people who voted for us, and. If Danny, if Danny was here, he'd be really proud. <laughs> this show came about, a lot of it is from coming to this festival for so many years. Um, I think everyone who worked on this uh, somehow is involved in uh, life here. So I just wanted to thank this amazing festival. Congratulations to 20 years. And thank you so much to my amazing cast, Diana, William Sadler, and Jackie Martling, and those who are not here. Cheers. Thank you. I, I, I guess I missed that phone call. In a character crossover on General Hospital. Nighttime appearances include Family Law, or excuse me, Family, <laughs> Family, Law and Order, <laughs> SUV, or SBU, I said SUV. <laughs> Dyslexia, man. Oh, Halloran, I don't know what you did to me, man. The Sopranos, Deception, Unforgettable, The Black Donnellys, and Third Watch. She is currently on Amazon in the Bay, Tainted Dreams, and Pride. A regular on the club circuit, she has recently released her first CD of her own original song titled I'm Not Done With You Yet on iTunes and Amazon. She will be performing her music with her band at a beautiful little club in Manhattan called Pangea on Monday, July 31st. Make sure all of you come out. Please put your hands together and use your whole hand and applaud until she makes her way all the way to the stage. Give it up for Miss Eileen Kristen.
Brian was a little upset with me before because um, I met him last year, but I thought his name was Kevin. And he said, I, how could you con confuse the two of us? But I, I guess I did. Anyway, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And I'm a little nervous uh, because um, cause I feel like I'm disappearing. Um, but um, the next actor that I'm going to introduce, I don't know if he remembers this, but I was in Kevin O'Connor's workshop with him, yes, and we did a reading of Clarence Darrow, of this play that Kevin O'Connor actually played um, Clarence Darrow. Do you remember a little? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, it was a long time ago. Anyway, I am uh, delighted uh, to present this next clip uh, for the actor William Sadler. This is very encouraging. Um, I want to thank the. I want to thank Life Expo. I need to thank uh, Elias Plagianos. Uh, I said it earlier this morning. My fellow cast members and Diane Durago, um, uh, Deborah Markowitz, of course, our den mother. Um, as I, I, I don't get a chance to be funny very often in uh, in films. Uh, in fact, today is the 26th anniversary of the premiere of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which I think was the last time I was allowed to be funny on a film. People say I'm too edgy. Uh, I don't know what that. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> accepts films from all over the globe, but life, la a uh, gives Long Island films a very, very special place to screen their films. So here are the nominees for best, I'm from actually, I'm from Brooklyn, but also Long Island's uh, Atlantic Beach, so I'll say best Long Island film. <laughs> Thaddeus Schneider and his daughter, who was in the film, uh, producer Carolyn Hepburn. Uh, I'm sure I speak for a lot of filmmakers that uh, making films is just not a thing we do for fun. We do it because we, we have to. Uh, a lot of films, you know, mean a lot to, to. A lot of films have gotten me through some rough bits in life and have inspired me. And that's my goal as a filmmaker, and we need that uh, nowadays more than ever. So, uh, anyway, thank you. Well, Flanagan, Ravelli, and Stokowski are all over the same job. The guy's interview has got no ears. Flanagan goes in first, and the guy says, My friend, the job you're applying for requires the powers of observation. Make an observation about me. He says, But you've got no ears. Just get out! <laughs> Ravelli goes in. He says, My friend, the job you're applying for requires the powers of observation. Make an observation about me. He says, oh, That's easy, boss. You've got no ears. Get out! <laughs> Ravelli goes out, says to Stokowski, He says, Hey, listen, the guy doing the interview has got no ears. You're a little bit sensitive about it. Whatever you do, don't bring it up. She's like, darn. He goes, guy says, my friend, the job you're applying for requires powers of observation. Make an observation about me. She says, you wear contacts. She says, terrific observation. You're absolutely right. How could you tell us? How could you wear glasses? You got no fucking ears. <laughs> Escape.
escape reality and skip down the red carpet into a world of pure imagination where movies are timeless. The Long Island International Film Expo celebrating 20 years. My name is Sara Soheli. I'm actress and director in Iran. I've been nominated for Best Short Director for uh, Win International Film Festival. My uh, movie, the name is Moah, and the Iranian name is Much. I would like to send my appreciation to this festival and the founder of this festival, my dear Elham Madani. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willalene, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Festival. I'm here with this gorgeous filmmaker. She's a director in her own country, and she's here possibly for maybe she might win an award, but she's going to introduce herself and tell us what her movie is really all about. Introduce yourself, darling. Uh, thank you. My name is Sara Soheili from Iran, and uh, I made a short film, and my film is the name is Moa, and it's a short film, 12 minutes, and about abortion. And uh, I attend to some festivals, and I won until now six awards. Six awards for your film. Can you tell us a little bit more about the synopsis of the film? Uh, the synopsis is about uh, five uh, unborn babies start to talking to each other in uh, while they are in uh, their be their mommy's belly in uh, doctor's okay. office. So tell us now if we want to learn more information about your film. Where can we go? Do you have a website? Uh, I don't. I didn't put in online my film yet because uh, I am keeping to sending other festivals uh, around the world, and uh, you can watch my trailer in YouTube. Fantastic. Okay, and where can we go? What's the name again? Spell it so everyone oh, could yeah. see. Moi, M W A H. Fabulous. Thank you. Congratulations, and we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Escape reality and skip down the red carpet into a world of pure imagination where movies are timeless. The Long Island International Film Expo, celebrating 20 years. How are you? Hi, how Welcome are you? back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine. I'm here with Jackie the Joke Man. Your hair blends in with the thing behind. It almost looks like it's just a floating face. It does, but that's why they like platinum blondes in movies, because they're very photogenic. Right, and, and that floating face is so attractive. That's why I like it. And yours isn't bad either. No. So, Jackie, tell me what's going on with you, darling. I am doing stand-up everywhere. I have a book coming out in October 20, on October 24th. I have a joke book coming out behind that. Our show, Shoot Me Nicely, is about to get picked up. It's a, it's a uh, pilot for a comedy series. And I'm in another pilot called Life is a Joke, where I'm a 70-year-old comic 
And my son is a 40-year-old comic who's not doing very did, well. He's did struggling. They, did they put a lot of makeup on you? No, no but the, what's funny is my 40-year-old son in that pilot is a black kid. Oh, that's hilarious. I had a black wife, and we got divorced. Is he hip-hop? No, he's just a, he's just a, a very funny black, black comedian, but he's not doing that well, so he has to drive a limo, and we fight a lot, and it's very, very, very funny. It sounds hilarious. You wouldn't believe it. Hilarious. I, believe it. I will come out here and take a bow with you. You still friends with Howard? Howard oh, Stern? Yeah, yeah, he's waiting for me in the car. All right, tell him to come in. I will. All right. Will you, will you kiss him on the lips? I'll touch him. Okay, okay, bend and bend. Ah. This, is, this is my ex-wife. Say hello to the camera. Oh, sorry. I am so sorry. Why are you so mean this, to this me? This is my father. This is my ex-wife. She's very beautiful. She looks like Marilyn Monroe. Why, thank you. Oh, please. You. Ever since the sex operation. I'm going. Look at these. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. There's more interviews right here on the red carpet at the Long Island International Film Expo. Keep watching. Be champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fonda. The kind of girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.